In today's video, I will show you how I make $167 a day from Google using 100% free methods. This method to make money is 100% passive. I don't need to do anything. This money just keeps coming in every single day. Here is how it works. I have several very simple websites. An example of one website that I own is this one here, Travel Croc that you can see on the screen. Right now, my website, you can see ranks for thousands and thousands of various keywords in Google search. Every day, thousands of people get onto Google search and start researching different information. For example, if they type in Islam Mukura, it brings up uh, as result number four on Google, it brings up my blog travelcroc.com and I get a lot of clicks and a lot of visitors every single day for thousands of different searches for the articles that I have published on my Travel Croc blog. I own many blogs, many websites, and every time people type in the keywords, for example, any of these 4,361 keywords into Google search, my website comes up. Now I do this, of course, for multiple websites, so I get thousands and thousands of free visitors every single day onto my website. Anytime they find my site through a search such as Islam Mukura, they land onto the article and the article is nothing complicated, but as they are browsing my website, they will see ads that will come up on their browser. For example, you can see an ad that gets displayed here at the very top. There are also some ads that appear 100% automatically uh, within the text of the article, for example, halfway down uh, this article, here is another ad. And if I click this ad or if any of the visitors click this ad, Google AdSense pays me per click every single time somebody clicks on this ad. So basically this website is just generating 100% free money for me 24 seven. This is called content marketing and it's probably one of the very best ways to make money online because you don't need to sell anything to anybody. You just need to find keywords and sort of little niches that don't have a lot of competition, publish very simple content on your website and this content will become your passive money-making machine because whenever somebody searches for any of this information, they will find your site like this, they will get onto your site, they will click your ads, and that is exactly how I make money like this. How much can you make from this? You might be wondering, every single visitor that comes onto my website, how much do I actually make from them? Well, these ads that you see on my website they are ads shown by the Google AdSense program. Google AdSense is a program that any website owner can join and you just insert a tiny line of code into your website and it will automatically start showing ads just like what they do on my websites. So you've seen these ads in earlier in this video, these ads here. Those ads are shown automatically and anytime somebody visits your website and clicks one of those ads, you get paid a certain amount of money. In terms of how much you can make, Google AdSense has actually got an estimator. So for example, for the travel category, if we work through this estimator here, if you're getting 50,000 monthly page views, then Google AdSense tells you your potential annual revenue could be 8,460. So if we do the calculation here, 8,460 divided by 12 months, divided by 50,000 visitors a month, you can see that you can make about 1.4 cents per visitor or if we multiply these by 1000 visitors then basically google adsense is telling you that you could make roughly 14 dollars per 1000 visitors what is called rpm revenue per thousand visitors you can try this out for yourself for different niches the potential payouts are a little bit different so once again if you choose your traffic most of the english speaking traffic comes from north america you can choose any of these categories for example if you look into fitness and health niche and calculate that you can see that the potential earnings are slightly higher for the fifty thousand per month website you could expect to make about ten thousand dollars per year fifty thousand visitors a month might sound like a lot but don't forget that many of my websites are generating much more traffic than these and it does not take a long time to actually build up to the traffic because each of the articles just one article can generate hundreds of thousands of visitors for you check out this example here you can see that this one post has generated over 160,000 visitors for me and i have many of them 
So let me show you step by step exactly how you can do the same. Step one is to choose the niche for your website. As you have seen with this sort of niche estimator, different niches pay different amounts of money. If the travel niche pays about 8,460 for 50,000 monthly visitors, if you choose a different category like arts and entertainment, for example, you can see for arts and entertainment, it's about three times lower. So your niche really makes a difference if you want to make money with Google AdSense. Good niches generally are niches where people are prepared to spend money, such as home appliances, travel, gardening, birthday gift ideas, everywhere where people are sitting with a wallet in their hand and are ready to start spending money. Generally, those niches will pay really well on Google AdSense. Bad ideas for niches are niches such as gaming cheats where people are basically looking up something online but they're not prepared to spend money they're just looking for a quick bit of information or another example of a bad niche would be a niche that publishes viral memes people will just go and watch those funny videos or images and they won't buy anything so the advertisers in that niche actually don't pay a lot of money i have a full detailed video just click this button in the top right of your screen it will walk you through step by step how to choose an awesome niche for your website step two is to set up your website here is how to do it first you'll want to choose a good name for your website for that you can head to a service called name mesh at namemesh.com and type in one or two keywords that are related to your niche if you are trying to set up a travel blog let's say you decided on the travel niche you can type in some travel related keywords. Let's say you might type in something like far away into the search bar, click generate, and this will bring up all of the domains that are currently available that include your selected keywords. If you scroll down here, I usually like the SEO column. So all of these domain names are currently available. They're not registered by anyone else. And there are some good ones straight away here, bestfaraway.com, topfaraway.com. You can try to enter different keywords and play around with the search results and you can very quickly find an awesome domain name. Next, you will need a hosting service. Hosting service will keep all of the website files and all of the information online and this will essentially serve your web pages to the visitors. This hosting service that I currently use myself is called Host Armada. I've recently switched all of my hosting accounts to them you can get a 75% exclusive discount if you click the links in the description below. So you, you would just need to click that link, head over to Host Armada, and at the last checkout page, enter my special exclusive coupon code, and that will allow you to uh, register your domain and also register your hosting service at the exclusive low price. To get your domain for free and the hosting, click on plans and pricing, then choose any of the SSD shared hosting where it says manage cloud SSD shared hosting. You can see that it says starting at $3.99 a month, but with my discount, you can actually get it at an even lower price. So just go to plans and pricing and then choose any of these three plans. You can start at the cheapest plan. You can also go with Web Warp or Speed Reaper. So just click order now. Under domain selection, enter register new domain. So we saw the top far away is available so we we'll want to have that and uh, you will get this domain for free so it's a free domain registration if you register the hosting service with host armada so just go check domain it will give you a tick tell you that it's actually available so you can choose how many years you want to register it for click continue for the data center you'll want to choose something in north america if your website is going to be in english that's the best option and then go through checkout options at the very last screen enter the exclusive discount code the discount code is in the description below if you want a super detailed guide on how to register your name of the domain and your hosting and how to set everything up step by step with your website you can view this video here it's in a lot of detail I'll show you how to have your website fully set up in about 40 minutes from now after you've got your domain name registered and your hosting account set up you will have a basic website that looks similar to this and you will need to start publishing content there are many different ways to find awesome keywords and one such way is just here in the top right of your screen i recently published a tutorial that will help you find some awesome very profitable very powerful keywords and it's a completely free method you don't need to use any paid tools the link to that tutorial is also going to be in the description below another way and even easier way to find great keywords for your blog is to use a tool such as SEMrush. 
You can get a 14 day free trial to SEMrush and you can use this tool for free. Once again, it's sort of a free method because you can use this tool for 14 days with all of the features for free. The link to the 14 day free trial is also in the description below. If you want to find some awesome keywords with SEMrush, one of the cool things that it can do is you can actually kind of uh, look up or ethically steal the keywords from other blogs. So for example, if you decide to set up a travel blog, you could type in my domain travelcroc.com into the organic research area within SEMrush. And you can of course do this with any website. So just look up another website that is similar to the website that you are trying to build and you can look up all of the keywords that it's currently ranking for because people like me and other bloggers have already done the work of uh, researching the keywords, okay? And here you can see that my website is ranking for 4.4 thousand different keywords. Um, you'll see how many keywords like other blogs are ranking for and you can actually look up the exact keywords to see where it says view all 4.4 thousand organic keywords. Well, here are all of the keywords and most likely if this blog is ranking for these keywords, it means that it's a relatively easy keyword, but there is actually a way to sort of um, make sure that it is a pretty easy keyword for even for a brand new site like yours to rank for. And that is to use filters where it says uh, filters here at the top, you can click advanced filters, and then you can say include KD, which stands for keyword difficulty, and you want less than 75. So any keyword with keyword difficulty less than 75, according to the SEMrush algorithm, is actually a pretty easy keyword to rank for. This still leaves 2000 keywords. So here are all of the keywords that are pretty easy to rank for. And you can do this with a number of blogs. You can analyze any number of blogs this way. And this way you'll get tons and tons and tons of super easy keywords for you to publish articles on. Of course, some of these keywords are pure gold and you'll see, for example, this one has got keyword difficulty of 62, which is very low, 1,600 searches per month on Google, which is amazing. Once you're done with analyzing the keywords from one domain, just type in any search related to your niche. So if your website is going to be in the travel niche, just type that in, find another blog, that doesn't sound like a big corporate website. You know, this blog here, travel.usnews.com is probably a super huge website that publishes on a number of topics. So it's going to be confusing trying to filter through their keywords. But a website such as Santorini Dave, that sounds like a mom and dad style blog. So you can just take their domain and look up all of the keywords that they're ranking for. So if you go back into SEMrush, enter that in, click search, you will get all of their keywords. Remember that we've still got this advanced filter on, so we're only getting very easy keywords and here we've got 95.8 thousand keywords. So you will never run out of keyword ideas for your blog. Next, let's talk about step four, which is publishing the content. Let's say you've determined that the next post that you want to target is going to be about the topic of best time to visit Bora Bora. How do you go about creating content? Well, all you need to do is, even if you know nothing about this topic, you can produce an amazing high quality blog post that will rank in Google. And you'll need to enter this keyword that you want, that you found into Google search, and then review the blogs that are currently ranking here in the top 10 positions and just read each of these. For example, this website on the SantoriniDave.com uh, domain it has got a, an article written about best time to visit Bora Bora. Okay, so you can just read all of the information that you've got here. Then do the same with several other articles, absorb that information, and then write an article on your own domain, uh, in your own words, about the same topic in the same similar way. Do not copy and paste the content that will be considered duplicate content. So you will want to write it in your own words, but just produce a very similar article on your own blog, put together bits from different articles. So you might take uh, some ideas from centerinidave.com, then get some ideas from Planetware, get some ideas from Travel Team. Do not copy and paste. Don't rip off other people's content, just rewrite it in your own words on your own website. Here are some rules for the content that you publish. Your content should be at least two or two and a half thousand words long. Google really loves long form content that sends a signal to Google that your content is authoritative and high quality. 
include the main keyword once in the title and two or three times in the body of the post. For example, this keyword, best time to visit Bora Bora, you will see that this blog, centerinidave.com, has got this keyword right in the title, best time to visit Bora Bora, and they've also got that sprinkled all throughout their content. I have done the same. If you go to my blog, you will see that I've also got it right in the title, best time to go to Bora Bora to travel and visit. And I also mentioned it several times in the body of the article. I'm not going to bore you with the process of writing a blog post from start to finish in this video, but if you do want to learn the exact step-by-step -step how to produce high quality content fast, then click this uh, link in the top right. There's going to be a card with the full process of exactly how to write a blog post from start to finish. As you keep publishing more and more content, your authority of the website will grow. For example, you will see travelcroc.com currently has an authority score of 21, which is okay. And you will see that my organic traffic and the authority has been growing over time. The authority determines how much Google trusts your website. You will want your authority score to grow because that will mean that you will get more and more traffic and the pages from your website will be ranking higher and higher in Google search. How do you grow this authority? Well, here is one easy way to grow your authority. Once your website is about three months old and once you have about 20 to 25 posts on your site, you can start building high quality links to your blog from guest posts. You can find these backlink opportunities if you just type in something like travel blog guest post or if your blog is going to be in the furniture niche, you can just say furniture blog guest post like this and review the search results and you will find a lot of blogs that accept guest posts. For example, here is one amateurtraveler.com. If we open this up, you will see that here is something called guest post guidelines. So the owner of this website will allow you to publish a guest post on his blog. So you will submit a guest post to him, he will publish it on his site, and he will allow you to link back to your website from the body of your post. See how in the guest post guidelines he says, if you want to link back to an article on your blog, that's fine. To bloggers, I offer one link back to follow per thousand words of content. So if you submit a piece of content to amateurtraveler.com, and uh, let's say it is 2000 words, then you will be able to have one or two backlinks back to your site from his blog post. What's it going to look like? Well, let's take a look at this guest post here, 13 best beaches in Devon that got published on the amateurtraveler.com blog recently. Throughout this blog post, you will see at the very end, uh, here is a link. Hope Cove Village is well known as one of the prettiest villages in England. So this is underlined. And this is actually linking to another blog. If you click on it, this will open up another blog. Uh, day out in England. Okay, so probably the owner of this day out in England.com wanted a link. She wanted to grow the authority of her blog. So she made a guest post on amateurtraveler.com and she linked back to her own blog. This link will send a signal to Google that one blog is linking back to your blog and this will increase the authority of your own blog. Going back to the example of SantoriniDave.com website, you'll see this website has got 158,000 of these kind of backlinks and they've got a 30 score of 51. So that has helped them get massive uh, traffic and rank for a lot of different keywords. They're currently ranking for 490,000 different keywords, which is awesome. As you continue doing this process, in a few months after you've published about 15 to 20 articles, you can expect to see some rankings. After that, you will need to apply for Google AdSense. I've got a very detailed video right here in the top right that will walk you through the process of what to do next, how to actually apply uh, to Google AdSense and how to start inserting Google AdSense ads into your blog post so that you can start making money like this automatically on your website. And if you want to learn probably the fastest way that I know how to make money online, then check out this video here. It is sort of my secret strategy that has helped a lot of people make their very first affiliate sales online. So you can get started with this. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Greg Kononenko. I'll see you in the next video.